You know, to me, a car is sort of like an ice cream cone. I mean, I'm a bunch of you guys are like, oh, the butter has finally slipped off of his noodle, right? Follow along. Ice cream cone. You know, they're all essentially the same. You know, they're always open at the top, closed on the bottom, but they're all different shapes. And they're all different configurations. Some of them are just plain like waffle cones, and some of them are like, they have like, they're encrusted with stuff and they cover with chocolate. And some of them are really enticing. They're beautiful cones. But the ice cream cone really only exists as a device to hold the ice cream and eventually meld with the ice cream. So the ice cream is the feature attraction. It's all about the ice cream. Cars are the same way. The car really only exists for the engine. Nothing on the car works. Nothing on the car is of any consequence without the engine. It's, it's the ice cream on the cone. It's the cherry on top. And we do a lot of engine stuff on this channel because I'm an engine guy. I'm not an engine builder, I'm not a machinist or anything like that. But I'm an engine guy and I love engines and I love to tinker with them and work with them and make them do all sorts of things and I just love engines. And we do a ton of engine material on this channel. But I think that we may be missing a little bit of, of let's just say the, the, the beginner part of our audience because we have a really broad audience. We have guys who are, who are like me, we've been around forever and we've done all sorts of things. And then we've got a lot of viewers on this channel that are just trying to soak up knowledge. They're just trying to pick up the little tidbits of, of wisdom or knowledge or insight that'll help them understand and work on their own stuff. They're beginners. And a lot of the things we talk about as far as engines go are abstract to them. You know, you, you, could, you could talk about low separation and you could talk about chamber shape and you could talk about rod ratios and all of these other things. And they're completely abstract to the person who's just trying to learn the basics, who's just trying to get involved. And, you know, honestly, most, most engine features on, in magazines or YouTube or anything like that are about, you know, building this engine to the next level, whatever it happens to be. You know, a 700 horsepower parts book 350 Chevy. We're going to build a, a turbocharged, you know, Buick whatever. It's, it's beyond the scope of the guy who's really just learning, really just trying to cut his teeth, and who's apprehensive about digging into his engine to begin with. He's never been inside there. He knows his pistons, he knows his rods, he knows his all of these things, but he doesn't really understand the relationship between them, and he doesn't understand the, the nuts and the bolts, because he hasn't been in there. And an engine to somebody who's never been in there can be an extremely intimidating place. So that's why I want to do a series. I, I, we're going to call this your first engine job, right? Because that's what it's going to be. The essence of this series is going to be, we're going to construct this in such a way so that this is for the guy who has never worked on an engine. You know what the engine is. You know the basic bits and pieces. You know the, the external parts. But you've never actually dug inside and made repair or a modification or a rebuild. And this is all a mystery to you. This is new ground. I mean, I'm sure a lot, of, a lot of the more experienced guys are just going to like completely ignore this series, but that's okay. This channel, this is just, we, we try to provide a service. We try to bring people up to whatever level we can help them achieve. You know, and it, it could be technical information or historical information, or it could be just something that's, we try to be inspirational. Like for instance, the frame rail job we did on the, uh, on the charger here, we got a lot of really positive feedback on that that you know wow you inspired me to go out and work on my stuff you know i that's what we do that's what we try to do on this channel we try to take the mystery out of things and we try to we try to be a service so this is what we're going to do with this series your first engine job and we're going to cover it from the get-go the first this isn't really his first installment this is kind of like just an explanation of what we're going to do with this series what we're going to do is start with the absolute basics. Now we're not going to be we're not going to tell you how to take the engine out of your car because you can, we can't do that. That can't be done. There are too many specifics having to do with you know the engine, the car, the bolt patterns, and and the way things are configured. That's all very individual to your particular car. But we're going to help guide you in the right direction to find that information. 
And then we're going to go through an engine, a completely stock engine, that's busted. I don't know what's wrong with it. We're going to determine what's wrong with it, and we're going to repair it, put it all back together again, and then eventually stick it in our red Jeep. Because our red, the, the red Jeep, we bought, that, we bought that thing a year and a half ago with an engine noise, with a knock. And we've driven it 51,000 miles knocking. And I said, so eventually, i got to get to this. Well, here we go. So we're going to do this engine, and then we're going to swap it into our red Jeep, hopefully before the knock actually becomes like a hole in the, right? 51,000 miles knocking away. So the engine that we're going to do for this is this 4-liter. So I picked this up. I tried not to disturb it. Look, it still has, still has the leaves and, and stuff like that from when I picked it up because I really do want to go from, from scratch. I want this to be as representative as possible of what somebody will come across doing their first engine job. I don't know what's wrong inside of it. I do know that it's bad. I bought it as a bad engine, as a core. So we're going to break it down, figure out what went wrong with it, fix it, cover all of those steps, and put it back together again. And we're going to do it in such a way that a beginner who has never, never cracked open an engine, has no idea what's going on inside one of these things, other than just like these abstract ideas, you have the pistons go up and down, the valves open and close, blah, blah, blah. Well, we're going to do this in such a way that they, we're doing it for them. We're, we're doing this series for that guy or girl from Jump Street. So we're going to get started on this in a day or two. Uh, our first bit is going to be about doing homework and research and figuring out exactly what it is you need to know before you actually start turning wrenches on your own, your own engine. And then we'll go from there. And uh, it, it should take probably a few weeks, maybe a month. I'm thinking maybe seven or eight installments. And we should have a, a, a well-rounded uh, resource guide for somebody wanting to do their first engine job. So it'll be a playlist, and it'll just, it'll just be your first engine job playlist. And all of, these, all of this stuff will be in there. So you, you guys who are advanced, who've been around the block, who are just like, oh, why is he going to bother doing it? Just, you know, bear with us, right? Because, you know... Us all timers, if we don't help bring the next generation up and, and inspire them and get them going, our culture dies with us, right? So stick with us. If you're just starting, if you're just trying to cut your teeth and you're learning, this series is going to be for you. And please, if you've got questions as we go along, we'll watch the comments carefully. And if you've got you know, questions that apply across the board. Not so much like, you know, oh, I have a whatever car and I'm trying to get this. But if you've got questions as far as procedure and and importance and, and, and order, that sort of thing, then yeah, throw that in the comments and we'll go through them and we'll respond to them in the videos as we go along. So that's it, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.